Hello racers, I'm Tomix and welcome back to Marble World Grand Prix, and today we're frolicking in the snow here at Winter Wonder Hell. This teeter-tottering troop of towering twisted tracks will slip slide and serpentine swiftly sledding through the snow, testing our marbles for all they've got and then some. As per usual, this track was painstakingly built by yours truly, but that doesn't mean we play favorites. Everyone's got a chance of winning here, including you. Yes, you. Speaking of, let's meet our racers. At the top of the scramble tower, we have our four teams. A quick introduction to those of you who haven't met them yet. Team Red is real-life friends of mine, various internet folk I know, Chocolate, and you. Yes, you. Team Orange is my Patreon supporters, past and present, wonderful folk who help keep me doing what I love every single day. If you'd like to be one of those wonderful folks, the link is in the description. Team Blue is you lovely, wonderful YouTube commenters, basically anyone who's commented on my videos lately, be it wonderful, heartfelt, supportive comments that I cherish dearly, or whatever this is. And of course we have Team Green, the Chaos Brigade. This team is full of random phrases and podcasts I listen to, and they're mostly here to shake things up. But who will be the biggest thing since the Eddie, who's a gingerbread chicken soup? It's time to find out here at Winter Wonder Hell. The race is on in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And they're off, heading down the Scramble Tower, where our spinners will mix and match them, making sure that everybody has a fair chance at winning here. Uh, and it seems Dapper takes the lead, the famous uh, Marble World YouTuber, followed by Flaming Potatoes, Asaf, and everyone else on their heels. But will someone manage to get to the lead here on the first lift? Flaming Potatoes actually grabs the first lead, leaving Dapper, Almog P, Jess S, Asaf, and Itai BR on the step below them. An interesting situation here because despite being in first place right now, it seems Green Team is otherwise not doing so well, with most of the participants far behind. Our contestants now heading to the Flying Turns bobsled section. In the Flying Turns section, our contestants will swish and sway down the slide, trying to overtake one another and avoid the obstacles before reaching the avalanche board. Let's take a look and see how they do. Flaming Potatoes heads down the hill, followed by everyone else trying to catch up. They take that turn with high speed, but Dapper and Itai BR are hot on their tail, and Itai BR takes the lead, but Flaming Potatoes not giving it up, and Itai BR and Flaming Potatoes are neck and neck, heading towards that avalanche board. Uh, it seems Jess S is also making a run for it. It's total spin sanity as everyone tries to make a run for the lead, with Flaming Potatoes maintaining it. Heading down the bank turn, which is prime real estate for grabbing that lead. And we currently have a runner with Moot grabbing the lead out of nowhere. Just proving that a simple bank turns can be actual chaos when it comes to overtaking other marbles. And there will certainly be plenty of that here in our next leg of the track. This ain't the bunny slope anymore, kids. A lot of twists and turns await our contestants here on this section. Moot makes it off the lift and makes a run for it as the other contestants start piling in and on her tail. Moot goes through the lift hill and through the curved turn around it, heading downhill. Our other contestants have quite a lot of distance to catch up, but they might be able to do it at the bottom of the hill. And with plenty more curved turns, there's a lot of chances to overtake. Moot makes it first to the hill, with everyone else entering the boomerang element, uh, mostly avoiding each other, but we do have some clashes here and there. The rest of our contestants making their way down the curved turns and onto the lift for the next leg of the track where they will face the Blizzard Bowls. In the Blizzard Bowls, our contestants will need both speed and accuracy, or else they will not maintain the lead. Will Moot have enough of both to m maintain the first place? Moot makes it into the bowl and narrowly misses the dip into the next section. Who will be first? Oh, Tomer Tunes and Moot both grab it. Moot maintaining the lead, but nope, Tomer Tune grabs it again, grabbing their way out of the blizzard and down the stairs. They are the first to reach the next lift. But it seems a lot of people are grabbing that first lift along with them, and let's see how they do. Meanwhile, more and more racers are making their way out of the blizzard, with Asaf falling off the track and Tutu Tutu also getting stuck somewhere. This is one crowded ski lift, folks, as our racers head towards the next leg of the track. In the next part of the track, our contestants will hit a series of curves and turns who will lead them to the ski ramp. If they take it with enough accuracy, they'll have a speed advantage as they head into the topsy-turvy section of the track. 
followed by Black Diamond Run, a ski slalom where they will try to gain enough speed to reach this hill right here and pass it. Those who will not have enough uh, speed to pass it will have to take the detour and lose a lot of valuable time before heading towards the final section of the track. Our contestants are reaching the top of the hill, and let's see how they do. And Tomertoon trying to grab that inside track, managing to hold on to the lead for now, but Yelly M and Elmog P both pass them. Um, would Tomertoons be able to hold on? They all head into the curve down to the ski ramp, and all of them miss it. Yelly M in the lead, followed by Elmog P and uh, Tomertoons. And they all head into Black Diamond Run, hoping to maintain that speed so they can make that hill. Here they come, Yelly M falling off the track, Almog P having the lead, all of our contestants making it past that hill. Here come Flaming Potatoes not making it, oh it seems quite a lot of people aren't making it. And we currently have Almog P in the lead, Tomer Toons, Gal P, McGillicuddy and Murders, Pawn Shop, Itai BR, and three beads in the trench coat. No small amount of chaos here as more and more contestants just clash into each other. Very few of them try and make it past the chaos and onto the next part of the track. Next, our contestants will head down the luge where they will twist and turn through this slide which will eventually lead them out towards the river rapids. In the river rapids, our contestants will twist and turn trying to avoid the obstacles before crossing the bridge and into the finish line. Almog P is in first place followed by Tomertoons, but will they maintain it? Almog P heading into the twists and followed by Tomertoons. Almog makes it into the river rapids, but will... Oh, Almog hits those obstacles straight on. Tomertoons making a run for the lead and Tomertoons takes the lead followed by Almog P and McGillicuddy and Murder's Pawn Shop and oh, it's neck and neck. Tomertoons wins. The rest of our contestants scrambling to try and make that top 10. Will they manage? In the lead, we currently have Tommy Tunes, Elmug P, Itai BR, McGillicuddy, and Murder's Pawn Shop, Rebids in the Trench Coat, Tal M, Deli Proto, Flaming Potatoes, TP, Midnight Burger, and Aftershop. Dull uh, has fallen off the track. I'm not sure if this was before or after the finish line. We might have to check the rewind for that. And many of our contestants are still scrambling to finish the track, uh, but this isn't the last participants, folks. No, no, we have someone way back there still heading up the lift. Coming up the rear, we have Tal A and Rinke. Rinke, for those of you who don't know, is the one who developed Marble World, and therefore it is very funny that they're this far back. Way further back, we have Oded, who seems to have been viciously attacked by a bug. Oh, those vicious bugs. They can be merciless towards racers sometimes. Thank you for our participants in this race. In the top 10, we have Tomer Tunes, Elmog P, Tai BR, McGilly Cuddy, Murders Pawn Shop, Three Bids in a Trench Coat, Tal M, Deli Proto, Flaming Potatoes, The TP, and Midnight Burger. Crushing defeat for Red Team, uh, not making any place in the top 10, with Tom Kiel leading it over in 14th place. Let's follow along with our developer Rinke as they head down the track in second to last place, using this time to thank our sponsors. This race was brought to you by your friendly neighborhood Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga, for all your <laughs> needs. If you enjoyed this race, please let me know with a comment or even a like. Not because of the algorithm, I just really want to hear your opinions. Plus, leaving a comment lets you join Blue Team in my next race with a marble of your own. If you enjoyed this game and want to cheer Rinke on so they do better next time, why not support Marble World on Steam? Link to the game and to this track specifically are in the description. Seems Tale did not finish, therefore Rinke did in fact come in last. A quick look at the rest of our racers that didn't quite finish, we have quite a large selection here. With our condolences to Oded's family, we hope they heal soon from this vicious bug attack. But these are risks you have to take here at Marble World Grand Prix. Thank you all for watching, I've been Tomix, I currently am Tomix, and will hopefully continue to be Tomix, and I will see you in the next video.